Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The We Create team has sent me the We Create Vision to test for you guys. And that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video, showing you a whole bunch of projects. And hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be able to let you guys know whether or not I think this is a worthwhile investment for your soap business. We create Marcus's machine as one of the easiest laser machines you can get your hands on. And setting this guy up all by myself was super straightforward. I know with other laser machines, there's some installation involved, but with this guy, it was mostly just plugging things in and I was good to go. And as you guys can see, this machine is completely enclosed, making lasering your projects incredibly safe. And not only did the We Create team send me the machine, but also the fume purifier, which is down there. When you're laser engraving or laser cutting anything, that's going to produce some fumes that you do not want to breathe in. So if you don't have the fume purifier, you're going to want to feed the fumes that the machine creates out the window. They do provide a tube that you can do so, but make sure when you are thinking about buying one of these things that you have a plan for that. There's also a camera in this machine, which is really cool to see at this price point. Not only does this make placing your designs on the objects that you want to engrave really easy, but it also gives you the option to batch engrave things. You can place a bunch of objects in the machine and it can laser engrave or laser cut those things all in one go, theoretically, and I will be testing that in this video today. And one last feature that I wanna to touch on is the fact that this machine is auto rising. It will auto focus on your object. It will go up and down depending on how thick the object that you want to laser engrave or laser cut is. So if this machine is really as easy and simple to use as it says it is, then this is a great laser cutting machine to get started on if you're brand new to the world of laser engraving and laser cutting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start laser engraving things. In today's video, I'm going to try to laser engrave soap boxes, these plastic lids. And for those who watch my channel, you know that it is a soap making channel. So of course, I'm going to try to engrave soap for you guys today. I've already been able to successfully do this with the Xtool F1, so we'll see how the Recreate Vision holds up. So to begin, let's start off with these soap boxes. I'm gonna put them into the machine by lifting the lid like so, and I'm just going to place them inside of the machine. On the lid of this machine is a camera, and once my computer is connected to the machine, it's gonna be able to feed the image of my materials inside of the machine to my computer so that I can easily place my design on my materials. And here's the free software called the WeCreate Make It app that you have to install into your computer in order to use the WeCreate machine. They have a Mac and Windows version and setup was super quick and easy. So you guys are currently seeing what I'm seeing and this black rectangle here is what the inside of the we create currently looks like well sorry not what it currently looks like if i click refresh it should show my soap boxes and there they are and so adding a design to the soap boxes is as easy as uploading that image i'm going to click upload and i have a few icons that i want to try on the soap boxes so i'm going to select that and click confirm and here those are this is just a png file but i can just easily place them on the recreate because of that amazing camera sorry um i can place them easily on my soapboxes because of that camera so here's one and this is the beauty of having that camera is i can engrave a bunch of these boxes at once because i can just simply copy and paste this design onto the next box right over here. So the idea is to engrave these icons onto the box. So what I'm going to do is select paper craft cardboard. And one of the great things about the WeCreate is that it gives you this preview so that you can select the parameters that make sense to you. And one very cool thing you can do is set different parameters per image, meaning you can engrave a lighter setting or darker setting all in one go. So for the darker engrave, I'm going to select the square and it'll update my settings so that it gives me that engraving. But if I want something lighter, I can go up to here and I have experimented with this machine with the lighter colors and I'll show you what that looks like. The next thing I'm going to do is click autofocus. And that's going to automatically lower the machine down to make sure that it is focused on my project. 
It's pretty cool. So now that it's ready to go, all I have to do is to click start. It's giving me an estimated processing time, which is awesome because while that's engraving, I can be doing other things. And that's something that I haven't touched on when it comes to laser engraving, is that the projects that the laser does do take some time, but that's all time that you can be doing other things. So it's not like you're spending seven minutes focused on your laser, although you should be around your laser when it's doing its jobs. I would never run this without supervision just for safety purposes. But before I begin, I'm going to start the fume purifier and we'll see how it goes. Here are the results of those two engravings and you can see that if you speed up the laser you get this nice white engraving but if you slow it down you can get a much darker effect so depending on what you're going for it's really interesting how you can get different colors from one laser on the same material i don't know what happened here do you guys see that the image stretched a little bit, and I wonder if it's because I didn't clamp down my soap box and it might have moved around in the machine a little bit, but the darker engraving engraved it correctly. So I'm not sure about that, but this looks really, really cool. If you wanted to add these types of information icons to your soap boxes, and you can do that. I was supposed to put them on here, but they ended up on there. That was my mistake. <laughs> but I think that the white I think the white is really interesting, although it's kind of hard to read. The darker engraving, you can see the letters distinctly. This says handmade with love, vegan, sustainable. And that's something that I wanted to test out was how legible the engravings would be. You can see that there's a little bit of smudging here too, and it does actually smell kind of like smoke. So that's not the greatest, but let's go ahead and try the other materials and see what happens. Next up, these black acrylic lids. As you can see on the screen, my lids are really hard to see. And it might make placing my design a little difficult, but let's try it anyways. I'm gonna pull up my logo, which is what I want to put on these lids. Okay, so I'm going to make this smaller and try to place this the best that I can, because it's really hard to see. I selected engrave and I'm going to pick my material out. So let's see, acrylic, acrylic black. I'm gonna confirm the color. So I want the engrave to be quite light. So let's select this. I like that they give you a little bit of a preview and it looks like my logos might be too big. So let's shrink them down. All right, let's go. So here are the results of the lid and it didn't quite engrave it the way the X-Tool F1 engraves these lids when it's on the acrylic or black acrylic setting. On the X-Tool F1, this engraves a nice light color, but here it just scratched into the lid, didn't really give me the distinct white mark that I'm looking for. And I played around with the settings and I can't quite get it to do what the X tool F1 does. So I'm not sure why this didn't work, but it just doesn't, I guess. So last but not least, let's go ahead and see whether or not this machine will laser engrave soap. I'm so excited to try this out. And if this machine does engrave soap, that's going to be a game changer because right now when I engrave soap using the X tool F1, I'm only able to do it one soap at a time. But with this big machine, I should be able to do 
a few in one go. So let's go ahead and try it out. So here are my soaps inside of the We Create Vision. I'm just going to type in their names and you can see after typing them in, I can move them around. And for the setting of the soaps, I think I'm going to try this one right here, 100 speed with 80 power and see what results that gives me. So let's try just the blue one for now and see what happens. So here is the result. And yes, you can definitely engrave soap using the We Create Vision. And you can see that it is a pretty clear engraving and it looks really good. So let's go ahead and engrave the other two colors. I'm not going to change the settings to see whether or not it will give me just as good of a result because with the X2F1, I had to change the settings depending on the color of the soap. So let me quickly do that and I'll be right back. So here are the results with the other soaps. The green tea, you can see that that setting might have been way too strong for it. It etched it in way too deep. And for the pink soap that I made with champagne, you can barely see it. And these are all the same settings. So just like with the X-Tool F1, you're going to have to do some testing to figure out what setting is best per the color of soap that you're using. So this setting was perfect for this color, but I definitely will have to tweak it to get the same results on a pink soap and same with a green soap or an olive green soap. Then once you have all that testing done and you know exactly which settings to use for the color of soap that you're gonna be engraving on, then batch engraving those soaps will be a breeze. And that is something that I'm definitely looking forward to using my We Create machine for. So my final thoughts regarding this machine, do I think that this is a necessary addition to your soap business? No, but do I think it'll make a fun addition? Absolutely. And looking at the results here, I was pretty impressed with all of the things that you can engrave using the We Create. And it was very simple to set up and it was very simple to get going and start with engraving right off the bat. The fact that it can engrave soap is a huge, huge plus. But like with anything that you choose to engrave, it's going to require a lot of testing in order for you to find those exact settings so that you can get a perfect engraving on the thing that you are engraving. I said engraving a lot. <laughs> I'm kind of bummed that the sugar scrub lids didn't turn out as I was expecting or hoping. The X-Tool F1 engraves these plastic lids so nicely, so I'm not sure why the we create isn't able to do that on these lids with the same settings. Maybe it's the type of laser that the We Create uses. I'm not sure, but I love the different colors depending on the settings that you can get on craft paper. I feel like you can go really creative with this. Another big benefit about this machine compared to the other machines that have similar features to it is the price point. You get a lot of bang for your buck, but even with that said, it's still a huge investment. So before you consider a machine like this, take a look at all of your costs and look at all the applications that you're considering purchasing this machine for to figure out whether or not this makes sense for you and your business. Thank you so much to WeCreate for sending me the machine to review. There is a link down below if you are interested at all in purchasing a machine like this. And this won't be the last time you see this machine on this channel. I will definitely be using it to laser engrave or maybe even laser cut other things. And I will be sharing all of that with you. So stay tuned for that. But that is the video today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome and keep making beautiful things. Bye guys.